Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to review Milwaukee seven and a quarter inch dual bevel miter saw. The model number for this saw is 2733-20. And if you're gonna be buying it with the battery and the charger, it's the model number 2733-21 rather than 20. It has a brushless motor, it spins that blade at 5,000 RPMs, and it comes with a five year warranty. And I just have to let you guys know that I bought this saw with my own money. Milwaukee did not send this to me and they're not paying me to do this review. So to start this review off, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of this saw. I wanna make note that I have attached DeWalt's miter saw stand brackets to this saw. I like it because it gives it some extra height if I'm gonna be working on the ground and also I can clip it into their stand, which I, I keep in my trailer. So as you guys can tell, this saw is pretty dirty and dusty and that's because you know I use it. I don't baby this thing. I, I use it as a tool should be used. And you know what, when you show up to a job, you don't want your tools to look brand new because that looks like you've never used them before. Best to keep them dirty. And that will give your customer confidence in your skills. So when you get this saw out of the box, you're probably gonna be trying to figure out how to open it up. And the way to do that is by this knob right here. And it's stiff, it does not come out on its own. And the way to get that to open is you have to push down on the handle and then pull it out, that easy. Then also, right here is a knob that you undo that and that'll allow it to slide. Now this thing is two years old and it still slides like the day it was born. On the back here they have a spot where you can keep your Allen key for changing the blade and they also have a clamp for holding your piece down and if you don't want it on you just can swing it out of the way or if you want to take it off completely you just lift it up. And then when you have it in this position, it doesn't come out. You have to swing it all the way out and lift up. And uh, I almost never use this thing. I actually had to go dig through my trailer to find this so I could show you how it worked. And then you have a knob here for sliding your fence in and out. And there's an identical one on the other side. And then right behind the motor on the saw, that's where the battery clips in. And then beside that, you have the dust port where you can put the bag that is supplied with the saw. To adjust the angle of the blade, you just lift up on this bottom lever and move it to where you want. And as you guys can hear, it has detents for the common degree cuts that you'll be using, like your 45 degree, your 30, and your 15, zero. And then to lock it down, which is very important because there is still play in this. So I always lock it down by pushing that handle down and that locks it and keeps it secure. And to adjust the bevel, all you have to do is just spin this loose and it'll move to the left, and then to get it to go to the right, you just have to pull this pin out, and it'll go to the right. Now let's start with what I don't like about this saw, and there's a few things. And number one is this bag. For one, they fill up way too quick, they're too small, and the zipper on this bag is shot. It didn't take long before that stopped working and just the stitch quality of this bag is pretty bad. Like the inside is so full of like loose threads and stuff and they just get jammed up in the zipper and I can't even get this zipper to work now. I mean I could probably give this to my mom and she could sew in a new zipper but I don't, I don't like these bags on my tools anyways so I usually just throw them away. So when I'm outside with this saw, I just let the dust blow out into the free world. And if I'm indoors, I just hook up my shop back to this. A inch and a quarter or inch and a half hose, I'm not sure what it is. Whatever it comes with the shop backs, they fit this perfectly. Now the second thing I don't like about it, and it's not really Milwaukee's fault at all, it's just because it's a small blade size, the, the height of cut you have here is not very big. You can't cut a four inch baseboard standing on end. You have to lay it flat and I prefer cutting my baseboard that way. Um, I find it's just easier to have the baseboard flop off the ends down rather than trying to fight with the baseboard and it's out in space and it's like, you know, you're fighting with it, trying to get it to line up. So I always make my cuts by beveling the blade. I never do the angles. Now let's talk about what I do like. And the pros definitely outweigh the cons with this saw. I love it because this battery on here, which is a five amp hour battery, it lasts forever. I've done entire hardwood flooring jobs with this saw on one single battery and still had plenty of juice left for me to install all the baseboards too when I was done. 
Milwaukee is claiming that this saw with a five amp hour battery can do 600 cuts on a two by four. That's pretty impressive. And another thing I like about this saw is that when you turn it on, it actually has a little button here for a light that comes on, you can see it right here. And as you make a cut, it casts a shadow exactly where your blade is gonna make the cut. That to me is more accurate than a laser because I actually, I never owned a saw with a laser, but from what I understand, the laser only shines on one side of the kerf of your blade. Whereas this shadow, it shows you exactly where that blade is gonna cut on both sides. And it, it's something so simple, but it makes a world of difference. Now the only downfall about having a light versus a laser is if you're outside on a nice sunny day, the shadow from that blade is really hard to see. One of the reasons I bought this saw, and it's not the only reason, is, is because it takes a seven and a quarter inch blade. You can buy these blades for like 10 bucks at the hardware store. Sometimes they even give them away for free if you're nice enough. Even if you go for a more expensive blade, like a Diablo or whatever, like 30 bucks, I mean, that's still pretty cheap. And the last thing that I like about this saw is it only weighs 28 pounds. You know, it's probably heavier now that I have these brackets on, but it is super light. You, you can easily carry this saw into a job one-handed. If you go back into my video catalog, you'll see that I did a review on DeWalt's eight and a quarter inch table saw. And I can actually carry the table saw in one hand and this miter saw in my other hand into a job. Now the size of this saw is the reason why I bought it. I used to have, I still do actually, have the 12 inch DeWalt compound miter saw. I leave it in my miter saw station just because it is so heavy. I used to take that with me to all the jobs that I do. About two years ago, I was bringing it up a set of steps at my customer's house to set it up on their front porch to make some cuts and I almost twisted my ankle carrying it because it was so heavy. So that is all I have to say about this saw. And I wanna know, do you guys have this saw? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what you like and, and don't like about this saw. I'd be really interested to know what you guys think about it. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching and if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.